The Santa Barbara International Film Festival's Education Center is showcasing a special short film is happening tonight. It is part of the first Thursday Art Walk in downtown Santa Barbara. And News Channel reporter Mina Wahab dives into this inspiring story. Crossing the Channel follows 31-year-old Rachel Horn of Ventura on her big swim across the Santa Barbara Channel. Oh, nervous. <laughs> nervous energy. <laughs> Horn swims this 12.4-mile stretch from Anacapa Island to Oxnard with no wetsuit, brakes, or physical support in order to raise money for the Special Olympics in Santa Barbara County. It's pretty inspiring, um, and that's part of the beauty of these films. I mean, we're getting to highlight these incredible people and the, the inspiring and um, wonderful things that they're doing. This short film played at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival back in 2019, but the film festival is bringing it back to highlight local stories and to spark meaningful conversations. It gives us an opportunity to connect with other people here in town or across seas and other countries. It's one of the most powerful uh, empathy building tools that we have. Festival workers say this short film is one of many highlighting the unique stories of Santa Barbara that would otherwise fly under the radar. From one month to the other, you're seeing, you have no idea what to expect. You're seeing some small story that is private and like you can't just walk up and experience a family story, or you're seeing footage of Lotus Land, or you're seeing something about um, someone accomplishing an amazing athletic feat of swimming the channel. The film festival gave the show three screenings on Thursday, serving as a teaser of what's to come when the film festival officially begins next week. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab. Chris Kirchian joining us now. Perfect weather to take in a movie. It yeah. is. Stay indoors. If there's a movie or a show you want to catch up on, I mean, this weekend, the time to do yeah. just that. So I have a look at a regional radar. So you can see the first storm system that mostly impacted us late last night has made its way out of our region. It's